Hey guys, welcome to Master Gaming VR. Today we're going to be taking a look at Tale of Tales, The Crooked Crown. This released on April 16th for $19.99 on the PlayStation Store. This is a game from Tin Man Games, and uh, when I saw this, I was actually looking to download Ghost Giant, and I just happened upon this game. I love D&D, so when I saw this, I knew this was going to be the next game that I took a look at. VR is great for tabletop games. Just look at Tabletop Simulator. It has a just a small VR integration and it is amazing. Sitting there, uh, sitting at a virtual table and playing Cards Against Humanity or playing Dungeons and Dragons or playing 40K or uh, X-Wing or what, whatever game you end up playing. Uh, there's a lot of like Secret Hitler and all kinds of other games on Tabletop Simulator that just always have games going. It's It's amazing to have that tabletop experience in vr it does it very well uh, and when you can't always get out to a uh, a comic store or uh, you know a game cafe or whatever your local tabletop place is because you've got kids like me or uh, you know it just doesn't fit into your schedule to actually get out there this is a great experience having a, a vr table that you can sit at and play so I was super excited. I started looking at the description, and they are definitely saying all of the right words. Uh, fully voiced Dungeon Master. Uh, Story-driven campaign that is shaped by your decisions. Uh, battle uh, charm or sneak through 24 different encounters. Uh, dice checks, dice card skill checks, uh, over 40 or... It was over, I don't remember if it's over 40 or 40 exactly uh, different monster type enemies. Local multiplayer, where the person in the headset plays the villain, and then three people via controller play the heroes. It's saying all of the right things that make me super excited, but can it execute on those promises? Let's get in the game and find out. Okay, so here we are in Table of Tales, and the first thing I notice is that it probably wants me seated because the floor is like right here. The floor is at knee level. Uh, so I am going to pull up a chair uh, really quick. I am just going to reach off screen here and grab this guy. And we're going to sit down, and hopefully you can still see me just fine. <clears throat> And uh, we're going to reset by holding the button on the right here. And this feels much better. So definitely it wants you to be seated when you experience this game. So uh, we have some settings here. Music, sound effects, narration. Uh, change wand extension mode. Uh, don't know what that is. Subtitles, vibration, defaults, and save. So um, pretty basic. No locomotion and no... Uh, comfort settings in there. Um, we've got multiplayer, so like I said, local multiplayer. We don't have anyone here for that, so we're just going to jump into a new game. Uh, enjoy the story. Uh, this is baby mode. Balance, the intended way to play. Challenge, advanced combat challenge for experienced players. Uh, and yeah, we're going to take challenge, because why not? I, I, I know some D&D. &D. Um, so this should be easy, right? Just jump right in. Very black screen. Not seeing much at the moment. Okay, so we have a note and a key. Uh, I believe this is a magical ta table. Um, really quick, just want to uh, make sure that everything is working. Okay, just want to make sure, see what you guys were seeing really quick. So we have this paper here. Um, Hey, little magpie. Not so little now, I guess. If you're reading this, it's been a long time. I'm sorry I didn't get to see you again before... Well, you're grown up now. Before I died, the solicitor just wanted me to list this with the other items, but I knew you'd appreciate something more personal. Besides, I left you something special. You'll find it in the attic. Look for the key. You'll figure it out. With love... And adventure. Ant. Ant Moim? Ant Moira, I think. I don't know. It's hard to read. The uh, the text is not uh, the the resolution in the PSVR headset makes text a little bit difficult. So, we have no a note from Ant Moira. We have a key, and we have a keyhole. 
This is very, uh, very ornate, very intricate. I want this table for, for my games. All right, so I stick the key in the keyhole. Oh, hello there. Hello to you. My, feels like I've been asleep for years. You probably have. I pet the birdie? I suppose you're wondering what this is all about. Um, a little bit. Remember your aunt being just as surprised. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Arbitrix. I is, am the master of the table. Is this a bathtub now? Prodigious teller of tales. Oh, really? And you, my friend, are about to embark upon quite the adventure. I hope you're ready. I guess. Okay. The storm that was loud. Came out of nowhere. Yes, it the did. Ship is on its way back to the biggest port in the Crown's Islands. Its voyage has been a success. The substantial treasure on deck was, let's say, acquired by four scouts acquired. who hired the ship for their venture. So this is your tank. This is your rogue, your mage, and your cleric alchemist guy. Who's really good at solving problems with her ironclad fists? If you want to know more about the scoundrels, place them on one of the plinths on the table edge near you. We've got a monk tank. Alright, health 13 of 13, defense 0. Uh, okay. That doesn't seem like a uh, tanky person who has zero defense but anyways power zero four intellect uh move three uh charm okay these stats don't make a whole lot of sense to me at the moment but we're gonna stick them back whoops stand up stand up straight all right introducing horatio nine lives the thrice blessed the swindler came up with that name himself i believe it You're a little more Joker than I imagined. Alright, so health, no defense, zero four power, three move. Uh, he's got more skill with the charm and the finesse than anything else. Let's stick him back. The mage. Calls herself Nina. Don't ask where she got her heretical and very illegal powers of dark sorcery. Nine of nine, zero, zero, four, two move, even across the board. And last but not least, our cleric. The apothecary, a genius of experimental potions with a rather questionable clientele. He's got a gun. All right, uh, nine of nine, zero, zero, four, two. Frost abandons the wheel. There at the rail, shouting nonsense into the wind. What are you doing, dude? Happy. They've bewitched the captain! Yells first mate Barnabas. And Barnabas! Damn it, Barnabas! We must take the ship for ourselves! This is mutiny. A band of heroes would try and talk the crew around, but these are scoundrels. The best way they know to end a mutiny is to put it down. Put it down. Time to fight. Each turn, you must spend all your yellow power pits to move, attack, or rest in order to defeat your foes. All right. Well, tank goes front and center. Move your obviously. Next to a foe. If you move too far, you'll begin to expend their power pits. These mutineers were supposed to help your scoundrels return to civilization with their ill-gotten gains. Now it seems they're attempting a little skullduggery of their own. So these, I guess, are our abilities that we can use. Leaping Strike, move to target range 3, damage 3 to 4. Damage 2, defense 2, I think that sounds okay. Um, so you, and then... Play this card on a foe within range to expend power pips and attack. Oh. 
and then from there, I guess we can just use all of our power pips. Sure, why not? Okay, uh, now we have her. I think I'm gonna send her over this way, and then I think I used up some of her power pips though. Um, range three. Can I use this on him. I can use this on him. One of the remaining crew comes up from below nice. to join the fight. The hell? That's some bullshit. Okay, so he. Go there. And he'll go there. Uh, and then we will. Use all powers, heal three, defense three, move one, damage two, three, swap position, damage one, two. Um, I guess this guy. And then, yeah. I mean, all I can do is rest. This card to expend the rest of your power pit and fortify your scandal. So what can they do? They can blast with a range of three. So if they move here, they can blast this dude. Oh, oh, that's nice. Uh, knockback one, I didn't even see that. Uh, booster shot, heal, defense, power, uh, range four. Play this card on an ally within range to expend power pips and give them a boost. Sure, why not? Okay, so he's done, he's done, everybody's done? No, no. He's got power pips he needs to use now. So sure, why not? You rest. I kind of like the system so far. Oh shit, I didn't even see him. I completely missed him. Fuck you guys. Why are you picking on the rogue? Alright, um... Can I swap positions? Swap positions. Alright. Let's see... I don't think that there is a opportunity attack, so... I'm gonna swap positions with him. And then I'm gonna cut and run. Cutting action, disengage. Go over here. You. Are gonna, wait, hold on. No, you're gonna stay there. You have this wonderful leaping strike that you're gonna do to this guy right here. And fuck him and everything that he is about. Uh, and then you're gonna get in his way. You are going to bolster shot him, and then he is going to punch the ever-living shit out of him. Okay. Uh, you're going to move back, and what is this? Dark curse, range 3, area 3x3, three three, ignores defense. Uh, attack range, use all power, damage 4. Let's see how much health they have. They have four health, okay. Um, we'll stick him back wherever the hell he was. Okay, it puts him back in the appropriate place. I was just wondering, if I like put him somewhere else, does it fix the board for me? And it does, that's nice, okay. Um, so you're just gonna die, cause fuck you. Oh, it didn't ignore defense. Well, that's why we've got you. You, sir, are going to blast. Oh, he's not in range. Um, okay. Move there. Blast him. Another sailor comes on deck. Looks like the whole crew is in on the mutiny. The scoundrels will have to defeat them all. Oh. Stop killing him! Alright, so you are going to Dark Curse. I'm 
friendly fire. I can't tell if friendly fire is a thing there or not. Um, you are going to come up here. No, you're going to come right here. And let's see, what are you going to do? You're just going to... Can I do that from here? Apparently I cannot do that from here. Can I reset his... Okay, good, I can reset his. You're gonna come over there. And you're gonna cut and run on them. And then you're gonna cut and run on them again. Uh, you... We're just gonna bolster the shit out of him, because he needs a lot of health. Uh, she looks like she's doing okay. Bolster shot on you again. I wonder if I can knock him off. I, I, damn. I kind of want to see if I can knock him off. Um, what can you do? Turn around. Swap positions. Alright, so no, he's just going to rest. You, on the other hand, are going to punch the shit out of some people. Starting with him. on my damn squishies. Alright, um... You are going to Dark Curse. Why is that not... Okay, there we go. You're gonna Dark Curse all three of them. Cook appears, cleaver in hand. The cook? The sailors accounted for. The fight is nearly done. Hang in right. there. You. You're gonna do two things. You're gonna bolster her because she needs heals. Uh, and then you're gonna blast this guy and see if you can. Nope. Apparently, you are going to move. There. Hold on, I can't blast. Blast him. Knock him off. Knock him off. Knock him off. I wanted to knock him off the edge. Oh, well. Uh, you go over there. And... Run. And cut and run. Do roguey things. Um, now we have... I'm just going to rest. You're gonna go punch people in the face, that's what you're gonna do. I was hoping it would knock them out. There we go. I think this would be a lot of fun if there was a multiplayer version of this where I got to pick one character and I did that job. So basically like a, an actual D&D experience. This is a lot of fun, but I think that it could probably be better if there were more people controlling each individual, uh, you know, player stuff. Words hard. You defeated the mutineers, but you still need to regain control of this ship. There is a lot going wrong, and all your scoundrels will need to pitch in if they want any hope of surviving this. Storm. Okay then. Try to choose the best scoundrel for each task. The more stars they contribute, the better. Place them on the skill checks and see for yourself. Okay, strength dude is obviously going there. ...has abandoned the wheel. Someone strong needs to steer the ship through this storm. Ness is obviously going to be our rookie dude here. ...is creaking ominously. Someone fast needs to climb the rigging and trim those sails. Mr. Uh, Mage. Better get someone smart to tie a better knot. Yeah, I guess. Uh, and let's have our alchemist friend investigate over here. Waving that pistol around with a mad gleam in her eye. Someone needs to talk sense to her. Yeah, I think that's the best we got. 
Okay. So, which is weird because I would have thought um, the mage would be smart enough to tie a rope, but I guess not. But, anyways, um, let's see. Play this card on the skill check yeah. to attempt it. Okay. Roll the dice. Take and roll the die to find out if you succeed. All right, here we go. Throw them in the water. Nope. They go wherever they go. The way a teacher looks at an annoying student. Calm? Oh, of course I'm calm. Calm as this ocean. <laughs> okay, she fucked up that skill check. So, oh, goodbye. From the captain, then. And to think, these four paid to hire her ship. Well, now we have a ship. Okay. Um... Let's roll some dice. No nat ones. All nat ones. Great. Well, fuck the ship. They strain against the wheel and manage to hold on, steering clear of the worst of the storm. Did they? Okay. Sure. I don't know how we did that, but uh, lower mainsail. All right. Can we not nat one every single one of these, please? Well, at least it wasn't a zero. Climbed up and trimmed the sails, slowing the ship and saving the mast. Well done. I guess maybe we just need to fill in these other two. So because I got two on that, it worked. This is a little confusing how these work. Okay, so I've got three. I need five to finish this. Um. Okay. I only got a one, so she's gonna fail that. Yep, there it goes. At least it didn't break anything. In okay, so. The st number of stars is the, the DC. The three is your skill check. Uh, your just natural plus whatever against it, and then you roll. So that makes sense now. Oh good. Maybe you should go below deck. I'm sure you have. What? Overboard. It's up to you who fails to hang on. Once you've made your decision, pick them up and throw them overboard. Are you serious? That's bullshit. That's that's a lot of bullshit. I have to kill one of these guys? I imagine they're probably not gonna stay dead, but if I were the tank, I would volunteer myself. As tribute. Sorry. Sorry, lady. Gone. Deep beneath the waves. Probably not. Knowing them, their first thought is that this means a larger share of the treasure. There is that. to mourn or celebrate. You've survived. But your ship's badly damaged. And you're not alone. Oh, good. Pirates. The personal vessel of Solomon Sanko, governor of the Crown Islands. Ooh, he's taken a batter in from the storm. Though, <laughs> it's still in better condition than your poor ship. Wait. At least they have people to pirate it. Those aren't sailors. P pilot. They're orcs. The most feared pirates in these seas. The governor and his captain are tied up on the deck. The orcs clearly don't want you interfering with their plans. Prepare to be boarded. You could have just not come over here. I wasn't going to do shit. All right. So, fuck everything. Um, uh, let's see. Cut and run. Swap position. Two, three, four. I think he has four pips. No, he doesn't. Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll get in there. We'll attack once and throw some defenses up. And we'll rest. Alright, so one, two, and let's just dark curse everybody for, um, let's see, one to two damage. Yep, right there, perfect. Fireball everybody. Uh, 
and you, sir. Two. You shall bolster shot him. Give him all that defense and all that power. And you don't have any more that you can... Okay, so we'll just rest. Uh, and then he... I guess he can rest. No, he can rest. Damn it, rest. Why are you not resting? Thank you. We're so dead. Alright, that's all the fence. Oh, there's two health. What are you doing? Why are you jumping? Okay. Um... We got this. You are going to just lay into everybody over here again. Okay, one down. We got this. Uh, you are again going to bolster shot him, keeping him alive, giving him defenses, giving him more chance to stab people in the face. And... Okay. You're going down. And then you're going down. I think I probably should have attacked first and then bolster shot. Don't shoot over that's that's cheating. That's cheating. But all is not lost. You've bought Captain Starling enough time to free himself and he's found his pistol. Good. Good job, Captain Starling. Um So you're going to cut and run on him, which should kill him. Moving you there. And then... Oh, revive is in action. Okay. Uh, cut and run on you. Let's go ahead and revive this guy. I wonder if they can do anything this turn. Nope, they are stuck, apparently. Uh, let's go ahead and bolster shot you. Can they do anything? They apparently can do something. That's not, that's not the worst that could have happened. He's still taking the tanking. Oh, good. Fuck the healer. What are they hopping around for? Who is this? Who are you, good sir? Who are you? You are Governor Senko. You have, like, nothing. Okay. Go. Go back over there. Uh, so we need you to cut and run there. And cut and run there. And bolster shot him again. And bolster shot him again. So he can once again cut and run. Alright. Now you. And not hit him. So. I think they're stuck. Yeah, okay, they can't move. Uh, so they're gonna rest. They're still. They're still hurting from last round. Not really, but they're gonna pretend like it. Alright, and you're still stuck. Why are you still stuck? I can't hit him. Okay. Well, go here. I'm doing the wrong thing. Damn it! You've done it! Yay! Some help from Captain Starling. Together, Love it. the scoundrels Not much. and Captain I did most Governor of it. Sanko, who thanks you all profusely. With gold? Your ship's in no shape to sail. You should come with us to the capital. Offers the governor. You are here. Okay. What am I 
doing here? Oh, some of them are accepting the offer, some of them might not accept the offer. Oh, I have to pick who accepts the offer. All right, the rogue's gonna accept the offer. The governor's right. Your storm-battered vessel is headed to the bottom of the ocean. So where's my tank? The scoundrels have no choice but to bring. Is she actually gone? Treasure aboard the Sunfish. Excellent, says the governor. Did we really Take kill kill off the tank time. like in when the first encounter? Watch, you shall be properly rewarded for your bravery. Okay, so we went. We're now at the Crown Island. I, I expected her to come up like somewhere, somehow. And largest city of the Crown Islands, home to fishers, traders, smugglers, artisans, privateers, and scoundrels. Come with me. Insists Solomon Sanko. Screw that ship. The governor is determined to make good on his promise. Later that day, after a feast in his estate, the governor surprises the scoundrels with something they never thought they'd experience. Fame and glory. All hail the heroes of Half Arch! Thomas Turlinger, brilliant apothecary dedicated to helping others. Somehow I don't think that's true. Otherwise, who protects us with mysterious powers. Seems like she's more likely to be burned at the stake here. Nine lives, the thrice blessed swordsman and charming conversationalist. So be sure to speak with him tonight. Without further speak. ado, let us begin the hero's celebration. Alright, so now we get the to the RP section of the game. Um, this has nothing to do with the fact that I'm a rogue, but I keep picking him to talk. Ah, it's the heroes. Leaving already. No one said anything about leaving. May we meet again in equally joyful circumstances, Captain Starling says before excusing himself. Uh, bye. Okay. Bonk. I hope you had a pleasant evening. The heroes of Half Arch are always welcome in this city, says the governor before he's called back into the hall. After a round of farewells, the scoundrels slip away. Though they've lost one of their number, they've gained a second chance. They agree to split the treasure equally and go their separate ways. Time for your award. Choose a new ability and Ooh. it's yours. Okay. Inflict poison, range three. That's nice. Uh, stinging taunt, range two, two by two, inflict weaken. Damage, it's very hard to read this. Uh, damage one, uh, inflict stock. Actually, hamstring might be the best. It's only one power and it inflicts stock. Two to three damage. That's ranged and inflicts poison, but it's three. We only have four power pips. I'm gonna go with hamstring. Hamstring looks freaking deadly. Horatio gathers the precious rings, amulets, and earrings into his pack before returning to his party. Such things will prove useful in the upper echelons of society. Okay. Monsieur Mage. Level up. Dark portal. Range five. Swap position. Feed the beast. Range three. Drain life. Damage two to three. Summon shadow creature. Range four. No, we're going with summon shadow creature. No, not even. Not even think. No thought. Gems, just do. Nuna slips the treasure inside her sleeve before leaving, hopefully to a remote, peaceful island. That's nah, not gonna happen. Alright, leveling up Thomas. Flammable flask. 
three area two by two inflict burn one to two damage attack area three two by two inflict stuck seems useful uh, support self avoid next attack then weaken adjacent enemies uh, I think we're gonna go with stuck Thomas appraises Get some the CC in there the weighing his options before scooping several stacks of coins into pouches and leaving half our I mean he was the last one so he just took whatever was left and our scoundrels ooh, I mean heroes go their heroes yeah Thank you. to put their scoundrel days behind them that's funny they did well at least for some time does our tank come back I'm very concerned about the tank. You made me throw her overboard, and I do not appreciate that. Come here, a ship rescued from brutal orc raiders, heroes of Half Arch. And the storm returns. What does it mean? The rogue alchemist apothecary. woman socialite seven years later oh she's gonna be so pissed that we threw her overboard Seven years is a long time. Yeah. Long enough to build a whole new, quieter life. Oh, none know of us did it. The scoundrels returned to Half Arch for the first time since that day. Sanko Governor, is the big bad, isn't he? It's Governor Sanko. Quickly, we may be watched. <gasps> a figure darts from the shadows and stabs oh. the governor. And now we're blamed. This is very bad. You must find out why the governor summoned you. Uh, you revive him. The governor is barely conscious and gravely wounded. Your scoundrel tends to him as best they can. A city watch patrol. This is not good timing. More city watch. They must have heard something while on guard duty on the West Dock. That's not good either. And then there's the governor's mysterious assailant. They're getting away. Three problems. And only two of you left. Make a choice, quick. All right, you're going after him. Just stop. Your scoundrel will have to be fast to chase down the assassin before they get away. And you come over here and Perhaps chat with them. Your scoundrel can talk the officers into heading back to their post before they spot the governor's body. Yeah, that's unlikely. Um, you deal with that. All right. We need to roll at least a one. Hey, we rolled three. The scoundrel darts forward and grabs the assassin's robe. Suddenly, there's a bolt of lightning, and the assassin vanishes. Oh, uh, shit. Whoever it was, they have magic. Well, fuck. We're totally screwed right now. Um, yeah, you try and... Come on, roll good. Hey, Your we rolled good. Your acts drunk and begins a long, boring story about tripping over crates. The guards make excuses and leave quickly. Your scoundrel watches them go, noticing they are guarding a ship on the west docks. Hmm. Thomas's potion revives the governor, but as he wakes, he sees the apothecary. He spits it out and bats the vial away. No, I don't want medicine from a criminal like you. Oh, yes. I know what you did. What all of you did. What did we did? And soon everyone else will, too. What did we did? And with a final splutter, he dies. What did we did? The governor turns up a map of the islands with several locations marked, each one horribly familiar to one of the scoundrels. No time to wonder what the governor's words or map mean. The city watch have seen the scoundrels with his dead body. 
You'll have to fight them off. The big bad is the tank that we threw overboard. Um. All right. Oh, okay. What is this? We have weird writing on the back. I wonder if that means anything. We'll put the map off to the side. Uh, you, sir, are going to freeze flask these people. <coughs> and then get the fuck out of dodge. And take some defense. Uh, you... Can't really do anything... So I like that they've incorporated Dash into this in a decent way. Um, we'll just leave him there, uh, using your power pips as extra movement. Alright, I'll we'll just get some defense on him. And then her, she's gonna move to and summon her shadow bestie way over here. Can she hit anything? She can't hit anything with that, so might as well rest. Get some defense. Oh, that just does its own thing. Okay, that works. Jackass. Okay. Uh, you're gonna come over here, and you're just gonna hamstring the shit out of this guy. Just... Yeah, you're... I can only hamstring once? Oh, that's all the bullshit. Okay. Never mind. Alright, cut and run. And you get to go back there. And rest, get some defense. Well, so much for that, that wizened plan that I had. Uh, so you... Is there a cooldown on these? Oh, just no one is in range. Um, here. Why can't I use this? It's, it's a one and done thing? That's dumb. Um, okay. Can't move him. Uh, she's gonna move up. And. Mr. Bolt on him. Pretty sure he's just gonna die. Rip. Come on. Get out there. Right there. Okay, so while the effect is active, cannot use it again. Why can't I use hamstring now? I don't understand. Okay, we're good. We killed some innocent uh, city watch that were just doing their thing. Um, now what? Booster shot? There's no more guards. Does it think this is an enemy? I don't know. Um, I guess rest. And rest. What else is there? Oh, damn! That thing's gonna attack me now? Okay. That's not something I was expecting, to be perfectly honest. And hamstring. You fought off the watch, but it's only a matter of time before more come to investigate the commotion. You need to get out of Half Arch, and that means you need a ship. Yes, we do. At the East Docks is the governor's ship, the Sunfish. He doesn't need mm. it anymore. This is true. But there are plenty across the crown who recognize it, for good or ill. The scoundrels don't recognize the ship at the West Docks. 
The guard probably means captured pirate or smuggler. Maybe good for laying low, but who knows who owns it. Whichever one you're going to take, now's the time to choose. Let's go for the fancy one. The sunfish has been restored to its former glory since the storm seven years ago. Captain Starling is still in command, or should be. Instead, he slumped against those crates. The fuck? Unconscious. This must be where the assassin was headed. There's a whole gang of them. No time for niceties. These assassins mean business. Maybe Starling can help you, if you can bring him round. All right, you are the... You are the thinker, right? What are you? I think you are two across the board. And you're not a thinker. Yeah, you got a one for thinking. Okay, so there's my thinker. Back over there. Um... There we go. All right, I need to roll. These do have more than just one on them, don't they? Yeah, okay, they've got twos. I need to roll two twos. All right, let's go. It's not gonna happen. Oh, oh, it happened. Starling stands groggily. You, thanks for your help, again. Let's deal with these gallows, monkeys. Uh, then we'll talk. All right, let's deal with the gallows, monkeys. Um. Hi. You're gonna have fun with him over there. This work? That'll work. Um. I wish hamstring was better. I regret picking it up. I should have thrown the de gotten the dagger throw. Helping us? Oh, fuck you. What the hell was that? Alrighty then. You know what? I'm gonna take that movement. And then I'm gonna go here. Huh, okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna come here. I can't really do anything else. You, sir, are going to bolster shot my allies. And bolster shot my allies. And you are just gonna wreck his face. I wanna play more, I don't wanna stop. Alright, um hamstring. There we go. That'll work. At least I have a thing that I can do with one one damage. Oh no, you didn't. Hmm. I wonder how this works. The last oh, maybe only if I kill him, I, I move. Vanishes in a bolt of lightning, just like the others. The sunfish is yours for the taking, but the mystery has only deepened. Starling wants answers. Me too. Is the governor safe? He was supposed to be meeting with you. The scoundrels explain what happened and that they need a ship to find the killers and clear their names. Oh, I should have known something was wrong. That's twice I've failed to protect Governor Sanko. Yeah. What do you mean twice? Come on. The watch won't be far away. Uh, you, sir? We have a fair wind. Lose the top sails. I'll I really should stop, but I really don't want to. to bring his killers to justice, and besides, you need a sailor. No one needs a sailor. But I guess that makes us Marines. I'm okay with that. Once clear of the docks, the scoundrels examine the map they found on the governor. The Where'd the map go? locations are places from each scoundrel's the map's gone. past. A past they had hoped to leave behind. Okay. 
we're speaking of leaving behind we're gonna leave this behind we're gonna go do the outro i really don't want to i'm probably gonna stream some of this at some point to finish the story because this has been very enjoyable very very enjoyable this is uh, tabletop DD done right uh I, the only thing that i can ask for at the moment that i can think of before we're gathering my thoughts for the outro is i would like multiplayer where we're all playing one of these um not just local multiplayer but with somebody else in vr with somebody sitting across the table that'd be great um but let me wrap this up uh and we will jump into the outro really quick because this has been a blast Okay, that was a hell of a lot of fun, to be honest. The DM voice was great. Uh, I wasn't too sold on the bird at first, but I loved that, uh, you know, they, they spoke in voice and then they spoke in voice as acting as another character's voice. That's really hard to do from, from what I know of voice acting. So that was really amazing. I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, the mechanics themselves were fun. The, uh, uh, the movement speed, the pseudo dash ability where you start using up your resources to attack if you want to move too far. Uh, I liked that it didn't just completely take all of your attacks if you move too far, that it was uh, incremental. Uh, the cards as a representation of the abilities that you can use, rather than like a deck of playing cards or, or randomly generated, um, here you get these RNG abilities. It's just, no, these are your abilities. Um, the way that you play them is you pick them up and you place them on the thing that you want. I really loved all of the mechanics in the game, the choice uh, for who's going to take this and who's going to take that, who's going to take this challenge. Uh, I, I really liked that. Uh, the dice rolling, I, I liked that. I kind of wish there was a place to roll the dice where uh, it didn't feel like constrained to the ship or I don't know, I didn't feel like I had a place to really roll the dice very well. So like a little side dice rolling pocket or, or something, some flat surface that's that's there that feels a little bit better to roll the dice on uh, would be nice. Uh, I do feel that the game might benefit from a little bit of a better explanation of things. Uh, people that are non d d or just non tabletop players in general might not necessarily grasp the concept because they don't really explain it of this is your DC to beat. The five stars is what you have to beat to succeed at this thing. Uh, the three stars that you are setting here for, you know, this player who's got a three star skill rating at this is your proficiency at doing something strength related. Uh, when you roll the die, you are taking that dice roll plus your proficiency and comparing it to the DC of the task. That isn't necessarily explained very well or at all in there and it makes sense it was a little confusing to me i didn't really get it at first uh and i've been playing DD for a couple of years now uh and i think that i'm fairly uh accustomed to the, the skill check mechanics and and the way the DD just flows um it didn't really register that the five stars was a dc the three stars on your character was your proficiency and then you're rolling for just the the check in general it didn't really register until i stopped and, and thought about it so maybe a little bit more explanation on that because if anybody doesn't have that background in tabletop games it might be a little confusing even me saying it to you guys i sound like i'm not explaining it very well but we'll just move on because tabletop players are going to know non-tabletop players will probably figure it out eventually but i think that a better explanation would help get over that hurdle. Uh, the abilities themselves could be better explained, uh, specifically the hamstring ability, and I'm not entirely certain how it comes back and is usable again if it's a certain number of turns, or if it's just when that stuck condition wears off, then I can use it again. But when I looked at it, com compared to the rest of the abilities that I had, that I could just use over and over and over and over again, now all of a sudden there is ability that I can only use once per round. I mean, I picked that because it seemed like I could use it four times a round and it wouldn't apply the stock, but it would be a do a hell of a lot of damage. That was my intent. The card didn't say, didn't explicitly say that you can only use this once around. 
didn't have any sort of information that would lead me to believe that I could only use it once around. It just seemed like, here's a new auto attack for you. This is going to be amazing. Go to town on it. I kind of should have figured that there'd probably be some restriction on it because it just seemed too good. Uh, but it would be nice if the cards explain that in some way. Not only do they lack explanation, uh, you know, with the PSVR resolution, it's just sort of hard to read that text and, and getting really down low to look at the cards. I probably could have picked them up and looked at them. Um, but just the, the font itself wasn't too too great. I, I love the, the look of it, but just trying to read it in VR... Uh, is is that much more difficult with the lower resolution of the PSVR. I'd love to see this on a headset like the Vive Pro where the resolution is higher, maybe Samsung Odyssey Plus, uh, something, you know, the Rift S when it comes out. Uh, I would love to see this game or more games like this game come to a wider range of systems than just PlayStation. Please make that happen. Now, all of those complaints are very minor to the fun factor of the game. I really had a hell of a lot of fun playing this game. I went out, I bought this game with my own money. There's no developer request here. This is just, I saw this game in the PlayStation Store and said I have to play this game. And I had a blast. I really enjoyed myself. This is definitely a pickup. And hey, oh, guess what? If you're watching this review before April 30th, it's on sale in the PlayStation Store until April 30th. Go pick this game up if you have PSVR, especially if you love tabletop games. There's no reason not to. There's a high replayability even once you get through all of the 24 encounters. 24 encounters. We went through what we... See, I don't know if they're, they're calling that like town section where we didn't fight anything are they calling that an encounter i don't know to me encounter means uh fighting uh fighting enemies and if we go by that we had four encounters four of the 24 encounters in about an hour so you're looking at five to six plus hours just to get through the main storyline if you rush it and then you can always go back and replay it. Say, I don't want the swash the the swashbuckler. I don't want the thrice charmed whatever his title was. I don't want him this round. I want the tank. I want the healer. I want the sorcerer. Then you get to play it again with those people and make different choices. Instead of taking, uh, you know, the infamous boat, take the hidden boat and see who attacks you. Then uh, I think that it could just be, you know, if, if those choices are very impactful to the story then this game has a lot of replayability uh just so many different permutations that i am amazed uh at just i'm amazed at the game i really had a lot of fun um i don't know what else to say other than i had a lot of fun it's on sale go pick it up why are you still watching it was fun it was great that's going to do it for my review of Table of Tales, The Crooked Crown. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. All of the other links down below that help support the channel, please go ahead and check them out. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'll probably be streaming this later on uh, tonight after you know I release this. Hopefully I get this released uh, by, by Sunday and then I will get to stream uh, later on tonight. But anyways, I will see you guys later.